from deep beneath the dirt, the history of Roman Londinium is slowly being unearthed. Don't be fooled by the columns, they're concrete from the 1950s. It's what lies beneath that's excited archaeologists. It's actually one of our largest excavations ever conducted in the city. Some of it's very complicated, timber structures that need very careful cleaning and recording. And obviously we can't do our job that quickly because we have to do everything. We have to make a meticulous record of what we're finding as we go along. And they're working on a building site. This will become a new headquarters for the Bloomberg Media Company. Archaeologists had long known the site was special, home to the Roman temple of Mithras. But until more recently, they'd not realised just how much had survived. Now, what makes this site so special is actually this, this mud that I'm standing in, because it's helped preserve what's here. And that's because a river used to run through here, the Warbrook River. And archaeologists say, actually, if this site had been 20 metres in either direction from here, it's likely the finds would have just rotted away. Instead, they've discovered 10,000 objects, the largest ever on a single excavation in London. Uh, well, this is actually um, probably a small amulet um, made out of amber. It's in the shape of the gladiator's helmet. It's very, very expensive lucky charm, I suppose. There are also clues to how Londoners lived and dressed, including the hundreds of shoes they left behind. We have distinctive military types of boots, which suggests that the army um, had a presence here. So we can actually get an amazing picture of the population of early London just from looking at their shoes. And although not yet translated, the scratches on this writing tablet could be particularly significant. Because they can tell us about how people thought and what they were saying to each other, the contact they were having. We don't have any written evidence really from Roman, from Roman London, very little anyway. So even a, a tiny scrap of writing from one Roman London to another is, is like our gold dust really. It's hoped some of the items will eventually go on display here. A museum's planned as part of the Bloomberg project, so Londoners can get a closer look at the life of their Roman ancestors. Sonia Jessup, BBC News.